Yeah, I'm Elena Garcia, the Fruit and Nut Extension Specialist for uh, the University of Arkansas Extension System. And what we're showing here uh, is some damage, uh, freeze damage that we experienced on Monday. Uh, what happened was the, the door to the tunnel was broken uh, due to high winds and then our covers that we have uh, blew off the plants and the temperatures outside were 17, between 17 and 18 degrees. So today when it's much warmer we're uh, assessing the damage to the flowers and to the fruit and even the crowns. We are very fortunate to to, to see that overall there is not that much damage to the to the crowns. The crowns are in good shape, but we did we are seeing quite a bit of uh, freeze damage to the flowers. Okay, so here we have some flowers, and uh, it damage to the flowers is pretty easy to see. You can see in the center of the flower the. Um, female portion of the flower gets very brown and if you cut into that you will see a very uh, dark brown color inside that means that the flower is the flower is dead and there will be no fruit from this flower. You can see here that we do have on, on this plant several of the flowers have been damaged right here. It's brownish so if you were to cut into that flower it will be dead. We're also seeing some fruit damage and uh, the, fl the fruit that was exposed to the 17 degree temperature actually when we cut into it what you see then is a browning to the inside uh, what indicates that the, the fruit had been frozen and so we're seeing that also on the younger underdeveloped uh, fruit if you cut into it also you will see a brown uh, area in the middle again this, this fruit is uh, not any good anymore.